Hello everybody from Tropicana Field. Zach Campbell here for the second straight day. And first pitch for today's game is 12, 10 p.m. Very early, probably no batting practice. So the challenge will be to find a way to get at least one baseball. And the other challenge will be to see how much food I can eat. We got access to a club with lots of free stuff. So Rays versus Orioles, two great teams. Should be a fun day. Let's head inside. baby he's the best got the Orioles hat on and uh, yeah that didn't take too long huh Thank you, Philip. Zach, did you get a 25th anniversary call yet? I did. Check it. Felix Bautista. And I'm going to give this baseball away as a prize on Instagram. I'll talk about this later. So, that kid out there fielding fungos, that is Colton Hyde, the son of Orioles manager Brandon Hyde. Pretty cool for him to get to do that, and it just so happens that he's also cool as a person. He's been very nice to me over the last couple of seasons, and thrown me a bunch of baseballs, and when he came off the field today, he chucked another one my way, but unfortunately airmailed me because of that tall protective netting. So, I lost my balance backing up into a seat, but no harm done. And then, because the Orioles are such a friendly team, I was able to get the attention of coach Tony Mancelino, who not only threw me a baseball, but threw three other balls over the netting to a bunch of kids. Always great to see generosity like that. And on a day like today, with no batting practice, it's especially nice when the players and coaches are being friendly with toss-ups. And so, I got four baseballs, which is great for no BP, and another thing that's great, which I mentioned outside, is all the free food that's going to be coming my way up in the Rays Club. So we got like 40 minutes until game time. Ain't nothing happening on the field for right now, so I think it's time to go stuff my face. Level on the right is Aero Vante. It should have an AC on your ticket. I'm trying to eat less sugar. 
I'm very conflicted right now. Because look at all this. That looks beautiful, thank you. That was quite a meal, and I have to give a huge shout out to my friend Mike for hooking me up with Ray's Club Access. And I'm especially proud of myself for resisting the urge to eat sugar. You guys, I am a total dessert addict, but I find that I feel much, much better when I avoid that stuff. Anyway, today, I decided to sit out in right view because there are lots of good lefties in these lineups, and yet, it was a righty, Randy Arozarena, who got the scoring started with a home run to left center. Go figure. And a whole bunch of runs scored after that. So right now, third inning, Rays are up four to one. And can you believe that there were two more home runs after that? And they both went to left field. So all you guys who are like, how do you always know where the balls are gonna go? Uh, yeah, that's not exactly the case so far today. Go bigger with water, peanuts. Sixth inning, nobody scored since the last time I gave a scoreboard update. 4-1 raise. Adley is at the dish. Gunner is on first base. That's all I got.
Gunnar Henderson giving the Orioles a sign of life right here at the top of the ninth inning, but it was too little too late. The O's managed just four hits today and looked kind of dead, but that's what the Red Hot Rays will do to you. Listen, I did not expect the Rays to get swept in this short two-game series at home, and sure enough, they bounced back big in this early afternoon affair. Randy Arozarena was the offensive star, going three for three with a double and a homer, and his team came out on top by the score of seven to two. And if my voice sounded kind of echoey right there, well, you can see why. I'm just chilling here on this staircase because security cleared out the seat bowl. So, I got actually five baseballs today. Uh, didn't get a shot of the last one, and I wouldn't show it anyway because it was handed to me by an employee, so it counts, but I'm trying to discourage that. So, of the five baseballs, here's one that I'm keeping just long enough to give away to you guys. I mentioned it earlier. This was the ball that I think Ben Carhart, the O's bullpen catcher for me, signed on the sweet spot by Felix Bautista, Orioles closer, lights out. And I'm giving this away on Instagram. So what you gotta do is look for my post on Insta where I show this ball. My Insta is at Zach underscore Campbell. All right, and in the caption on Insta, I'll explain exactly what you need to do to have a chance of winning this. But basically, you gotta be following me, like the post, and leave a comment in which you tag at least two other people that you personally know. So good luck, guys. This baseball might be yours. Um, I do count giveaways in with my lifetime total. So the five baseballs that I got today, well, that brings the lifetime number to 12,100 and, ready for the echo, 95! That was kind of fun. Uh, I am driving to Miami tomorrow, so this concludes my time here at the Trop. Two Marlins games coming up, and my drive tomorrow is being made possible thanks to another Mike. Gotta shout him out. Mike at Clearwater Porsche. Long random story. The, the short version is that he helped me out in a big way with my rental car. Had an issue, but we're all good now. So thank you, Mike at Clearwater Porsche. Thank you, Mike, for getting me in the race club. That's a different Mike. So just a great time here overall. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching.